So I will say that because the adorable earth little ankle boots are so limited and we're so awesome and popular and fall forward, we had to find something else for the show because we had to cut them from the show. I'm a little bit obsessed with what we filled them with because Ms. Moo's, they always have really cool, unique shapes. The leathers are always kind of like burnished, distressed, almost look like you, you put them through a tumble dryer. This almost looks like, um, a, like some sort of cuff, a leather studded, cool rock and roll sort of, but also crafty, whip stitchy cuff has been pulled on over the boot because of the way with this fold, it looks like on this, which is an ankle boot from Ms. Moose that you've never seen until now. Um, all of the detailing, all the perforation, all of that, it looks kind of worn like you've had them forever. And you see what I mean by that cuff detail? I mean, obviously they're attached, but it looks like someone has slid a leather cuff over this. And by the way, cute little tapered heel, very Ms. Moose, very kind of architectural anthropology. These are an all leather choice. The heel is a little one and three eighths incher. Um, the shaft is four and a half, perfect for year round use bare legs in spring or with tights and socks and leggings now. Here are your choices because guess what? You're the first to see them. They're never coming back at this price. They are shipping to you for free. They are new right now and they're on easy pay. They also, you're going to see on your screen, should be over $200 with tax and shipping. But right now, just for this show, they are almost 30 bucks less. Up top, Brandy, I'm in it. These are, by the way, um, European sizes, so we will have a size chart for you in a second. The red or scarlet will not last. Not last. Oh, dynamite cool. Um, navy, and because of the way the burnishing um, has been treated to the leather, there are parts of the boot that almost look like they are suede, and then the inside is so padded and f kind of almost fleecified, so you don't even want to wear socks because you want to feel that. And then next to the midnight, of course, the black. And then here, I believe we have a size chart before we see um, Christy Turner because she is bringing us the Mismu. She's bringing these to us free of charge on shipping. And here's the conversion chart if you need it and customer service is equipped with it. Um, Miss Christy, are you there? I'm here, Sean. Hi, girl. Hi, it's so good to see your face. Oh, uh, it's so good to see your face. You look dynamite. You are totally glowing. I'm sure um, it's a treat to stay up late like this with us, so I'm sorry on a Friday night, but I, I have to tell you, I love these. I love these. I feel like they are just, I keep saying kind of anthropology. There's something a little bohemian and kind of just broken in and cool about them. I'm going to let you explain to everybody who Ms. Moose is before you take us on a tour, if you could. Sure. It's a, a small father and son company that's grown out of Soho in uh, Manhattan up in New York. And what they did is they we're seeing women walking around wearing one pair of shoes to get to where they were going and then changing into their fashionable shoes when they got there. And they were like, no, 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 no. We're not going to do that. We're going to create this incredible collection of artisan style, the small curated collections of gorgeous shoes that are very much on trend, done in classic styling with incredibly ethically sourced leather out of Europe and just a keen eye to detail. But included in that is this infinite wearability. They are so, so comfortable. There's no breaking them in when you get them out of the box. They're just amazing. So Kathy, my director, who I swear should audition to be a host because her side job during these shows when she's not operating all the cameras and the lights is she is shopping and then she's telling me about all the things that she is shopping for. She just told me, she's like, I am taking these. She has Ms. Moose. Um, she's like, Ms. Moose are so comfortable. I'm taking mine to my vacation coming up in a week to the Finger Lakes. And I'm just going to tell you that speaks to what you just said. The father and son purposely created this brand for and guys, these, because they're a really top tier Lux elevated brand, you are always looking at like triple digits and you are certainly most times looking at over 200 bucks. And if these normally retail for over 200 with tax and shipping, you can only imagine what their knee high boots with triple the amount of leather go for. So the fact that you're saving almost 30 bucks here is pretty groundbreaking. 
on a style, by the way, that's new. It's not from two years ago that we're just trying to get rid of. And here's the update, Christy, before you take us on a more detailed tour. Um, 500 ordered. Scarlett just sold out. I knew it would. And then um, Brandy is going very quickly. It's the one that I am wearing and I love them, but you can't go wrong here. I'm not even a Navy shoe wearer and I would hop on the Navy so quickly because they are wicked cool. Um, so there's that Navy. Here is the black. And then girl, do you mind taking us on a tour of the um, Brandy? Cause it's probably gonna be the one that's easier to see the details in. Absolutely, I would love to. So I'll be your um, puppet. You is... just start speaking and I will show everybody what you're talking about. If this one we're talking about so many signature Ms. Moose elements. I mean, we've got that incredible base of smooth leather. You can see that burnishing detail all along the toe. That's all hand burnished. Then when you get up into the higher part of the boot, you're looking at top stitching detail, visible stitching detail. You're seeing that micro stud detailing that's done in a silver tone. Then we have the stamped leather on either side, and then you also have the contrast buckle there that actually is adjustable. But then with ease of wear, when you get into the boot, we've given you that floor to ceiling zipper to get into it, which is so fantastic. And then once you find yourself inside of the boot, you've got that micro fleece liner, and then you've got the leather insole. So it's all natural materials up against your foot, sockless option completely. And what we've done is we've also given this a rubberized outsole with an incredibly cute little sculpted heel. It's about an inch and a half heel, which makes it really, really ideal. Especially we talk all the time about how uh, ankle boots are the kind of the staple of fall in the, in the coming months that we're gonna be wearing them. And now that we're kind of adjusting to our new normal and we're gonna be spending a lot more time out in ventilated areas, outside, this is perfect when you're gonna be with your family and friends. This is going to be the ones that's going to take you from your jeans and your jeggings and your uh, leggings into your long maxi dresses and your midi dresses. I mean, this boot works with everything, but it has that ideal heel height that'll be fantastic dining outside. It's just perfect for this time of year. I'm not kidding. I would wear these with a summer sundress and bare legs because they're just short enough as a boot to kind of be like a shooty. But then, yes. I mean, you know, fall, I've already decorated for harvest. I, we've already been to our first kind of farm-ish, pumpkin patch-ish thing. I would wear these just in place of a comfort sneaker because they're so comfortable with any totally dressed down, casual, like super low-key Saturday afternoon outfit. Not to mention, if you were kind of pulling a little bit of dressed up, velvet legging, like wicked cool blazer, designer t-shirt, giant earring. I mean, you just cannot go wrong here. And I don't know if I've described this part well enough, but I don't know if you guys are, have you guys ever, Christy, have you seen the, um, the gloves that have that storm cuff that you can, that you can pull yes. over them? That's what yes. this looks like to me. It looks like there's a boot and then there's like a leather cuff or breastplate that's been like slid over the boot. It's just cool. It's really cool because it picks up so many different vibes. I love that you mentioned it kind of had a rock and roll feel, but it's also somewhat Western-esque when you look at it. It almost gives you a Western vibe without being costumey, but it just gives, it plays into different feels. There's so many design details on this and you can see the keen eye that our designers have when they really pay attention to these shoes. Again, it's this artisan kind of curated smaller collections. And what you're getting is not only just a base of phenomenal leather, you're Wait, getting really, really cool detail. I have a big update. And with that, I might ask Joe or someone to run into my dressing room and grab the black ones of these because in a minute, that's the only color that's gonna be available. So I'd like to slip them on. The brandy, um, is gonna be the next to go. Less than 150 pairs remaining, only sizes 37 through 42. The Navy, again, is going to go. We are moments away from selling this out. Six dozen remain, sizes 37 to 41. Speaking of sizes, and yes, there's black. Um, Christy, can you walk us through European sizing and like how we would treat uh, being on the verge of one size? Do we go up? Like, how does this work? Definitely. Um, we're very much true to size. So all you have to do is go down your on the left hand side of the chart, and find your US size um, and then go to the right, and find your European size. We have a little bit of an overlap if you're in the nine and the nine and a half. So if you tend to be a little bit more of a narrower nine, 
we recommend that you go with the 39, but if you're a little bit wider, go with the 40. Okay. And same with the nine and a half. If you're a little bit narrow, go with the 40 and a little bit wider, go with the 41. I'm an eight and a half and I'm consistently a 39. Like they, they're just, they are incredibly comfortable. They're incredibly cool. They are like a shoe in your wardrobe. So when fall winter is over, you're not taking these out of your closet and packing them away for the next cold weather season. I'm telling you, keep them in the rotation. Sorry, super pale legs, but you get the idea. <laughs> and then they look really fun and cool with, again, please bronze your legs or self tan. But, um, <laughs> but, but they looked really fun and cool with shorts or with any kind of like a, um, a little knee length summer sundress. Again, I'll spare everyone. There's staring. nothing they don't go with. I mean, There's honestly, nothing, it's like, nothing. I think about all the different cuffs that we're seeing in pants, whether it be the natural frayed hems, whether they crop, whether they be narrow and skinny. I mean, they work with everything. And I say it all the time. I do think that the ankle boot is that must have shoe in your closet. This one come, sets itself apart from all of the other shoes because of the incredible design detail on it. And it plays into so many different vibes which is what I really like because you could dress this up, you could dress this down. And I kind of feel like we're at a place right now where I'm kind of ready to get out of my super uber comfortable shoes and I want to get back to my fashion shoes, but this isn't some high heel stiletto boot that I'm wearing out. This is something I can put on in the morning and wear it straight through the evening. It's an all day thing, but I'm bringing some fashion and some style with me. Um, and that's what I really appreciate about Ms. Moose. Last call Brandy, last call Navy. I've just slipped on the black. I mean, the black are very, very cool. Very biker, but very um, relatable with that lower heel that's a little sculpted and the studding that um, is not overdone and doesn't feel kind of too edgy. The whip stitching that give it a little softened tone and of course all that same burnishing. So the leather should look worn in, faded in spots, um, hand rubbed because it is and then you know keep in mind these were new today you these are not an, a style from several years ago or a year ago that we just decided to throw a one-time only price on they are part of the current 2020 fall winter collection and already the 200 dollars price tag that they should be has been marked down almost 30 bucks just for this show now i'm going to also remind you they ship entirely for free um, there is only one order of the year. So the big update as follows. Um, we started with 1,500 of these, 250 remain black only. So let me remove all of the temptress. Um, and then let me also just say that the black with the black sole and the black, I don't know if you can see in here, the burnishing of the leather, it almost looks like suede or like new buck. I mean, it's just, it's really cool. It gives you total mixed media vibes. I mean, everywhere you turn and look, there is a different visual that you get with this boot. I mean, from the sculpted heel to the hand burnished toe, to the way that the leather changes as it moves up the boot, you get a little bit more height there in the front where it hits you. Um, you have that great buckle, but then you have that stamped leather that's also on there that adds this whole nother level of texture to the shoe. Then you have that top stitching design the simple stud detailing, it's so pretty, so signature to Ms. Moos and really speaks to what a very unique style shoe that you're gonna be getting, which is all about Ms. Moos. I mean, we really pay so much attention to every little detail in the shoe. I mean, the sculpted heel alone, this is one of my favorite heels that we have. It's about an inch and a half, completely wearable. It's completely unique too, because it's, it's not a block, which I think the absence of the big angular block is why this doesn't feel too biker. When you put right. the block heel on there, it starts to get real chunky and it lacks a little femininity sometimes. So that sweet, soft, rounded, tapered. But then, um, you know, just as we close, because we I'm going to throw the size chart up one more time just to remind you guys. I think we only have in the black fewer than 150 to go around sizes 36 to 41. Um, so that would be like a five and a half, six up to a nine and a half, 10. Um, customer service has the conversion chart if you need a reminder or help. And if we still have your color and size available, free exchanges are always available on the queue. Christy Turner, come back often, please. Oh, Missed it's you. so good to see you. Thanks so much for having me. <laughs> Any time. Um, all right.
Our today's special value is way